Hi guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I have my very first shop my stash video where I use makeup products that I shopped for in my own stash of makeup. So if you want to see what products I pulled out to create this smoky look, then just keep watching. <laughs> So I totally have this vision of shop my stashes being a regular on my channel and I have all these ideas for like fun themed shop my stashes you know like limited edition makeup only makeup I've only used once makeup I've never used old luxury makeup favorites old drugstore makeup you know themed but I figured since this is my first official shop my stash I want to pick items that I just kind of feel like using keeping it pretty casual nothing too crazy just using makeup that I want to use because I really just feel like playing with makeup and this is a great opportunity for me to talk about old products, new products that I normally wouldn't get a chance to talk about on my channel, especially those older products. I'm very excited for that. And the whole concept behind these videos are so fun because it's like you're going shopping for makeup that you already own and for somebody like me who has so much makeup, this is perfect. I'm about to pick up my camera and let's go shopping through all my stuff. Okay, <laughs> let's go. So for face primer, my face is feeling very very dry today so I think I'm going to use yeah we'll use this this is the milk makeup hydro grip primer I haven't used this in a long time so let's use it today okay everything by the way is going in here foundation I want to use a drugstore foundation I haven't used what have I not used in a while I feel like I always use the same foundations in my video because I know it looks good on camera but we're gonna play with the flower beauty light illusion foundations have not used these in a while I have a couple shades of them concealer drawer is too high we're gonna move this down here what do i want to use for concealer in lieu of the new hydro concealer let's use the elf 16 hour camo concealer since there's that new hydrating one and that one's a little bit light on me so i'm going to mix a touch of the new ColourPop pretty fresh concealer because it's too dark on me so that's just for coloring purposes let's see it's been a while since i've used the milk makeup powder so we'll so use this that. is gonna be funny for you but i actually have been keeping my tom ford quads in this box because i've been going through and re-wearing all these palettes because i have a tom ford ranking video i would like to get up sometime eventually but i take those videos very seriously so i want to play with one of these i can have another one to experiment with so i have quite a few as you can see pretty baby do I feel like so many of these are limited edition? Let's just play with the newest Tom Ford palette that I've purchased, which is the Badass palette. I guess today's look will be smoky. Let's use a face palette. Hmm. <laughs> I want to use this. So let's pull into my Charlotte Tilbury Glowgasm face palette. I was obsessed with this palette last year when it came out. I think it was in my yearly favorites one year. We're gonna use that. That will go good with a smoky eye. For lashes, I got these new ones from D Star. Let's try Jacqueline. These look like they might be crazy, but let's give them a go. Lips is going to be hard because I always change my mind last minute where I always go the same nude. So is there anything interesting? Whirl will probably end up being a good color, but I always go for it. Potentially this shade it might be a bit deeper. Might have to come back. We'll see. Okay, we'll just see how the look takes us and then we might come back to look for All that. right, so I got the goods. We might have to add things because I feel like I skipped things, but we'll see how we're doing. So let me zoom you in. Get the hair out of my face. Hello, forehead. So for primer, I picked out the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer. 
This was very popular this past year, and I got it. I liked it. This is a little mini size, but truthfully, I think this makes me break out, so I stopped using it. And you know what? I wonder why I have these zits on my face. It's because even though products make me break out, I still use them. And also, like, I'm sure there are certain products that make me break out, but I just don't know because I put so many new products on my face trying and testing things. There are things that make me break out that I just have no idea. But I really like this primer because I have really dry skin and my skin's been feeling super dry these past few days. And this is actually a very moisturizing primer, except it's also super sticky. So like, I feel like it actually moisturizes my skin, but it also just makes it really tacky for foundation, which I don't know, can be a good thing or a bad thing, but I like it because it's moisturizing. I don't really have a problem with longevity and makeup to begin with. So I haven't noticed this actually making my makeup last longer, but people swear it has. So you're gonna have to take their word for it, not mine. All right, so for foundation, I chose these Flower Beauty Light Illusion foundations. From what I recall, this is a super good glowy drugstore foundation. I haven't used this foundation in a while, and I know I really like it, but I just was kind of in the mood to use it. I don't know which shade I am. Why do I have two different shades? Warm beige and natural beige. So we're gonna use warm beige. And let's see how this goes. Oh, that's oxidizing already. <laughs> Maybe a bit light. Probably should have mixed the lighter shade and the darker shade. So let me do that. This is gonna mix some of natural beige. I think I'm more natural beige than that other color. This foundation isn't spreading very well on the skin. Like I like some of my foundations to spread. But then again, I think that's because the primer is so dang sticky and it's not allowing the foundation to really spread. So maybe I should have given that primer some time to settle down a little bit because now this foundation isn't blending out and I think it's definitely the primer and not the foundation. And if you see like my ratchet disgusting nails in this video, they're super long and gross and outgrown and unshaped. I'm growing them out so that I can shape them and paint them and finally get them in a good place, but then I never have time. So I just like walk around with ratchet nails and I really need to do something about that. See, now I remember why I like this foundation. It's so pretty and glowy. Now it doesn't have the most natural skin-like finish, but Oh, if you like glowy skin, this is so pretty and it provides you coverage. Okay, so I'm gonna do my eyebrows off camera really quick. I only own like three eyebrow products, so there was nothing exciting there. So I'll be back in one second. All right, brows are on. Let's move on to concealer. Now I'm going to mostly be using the e.l.f. Camo Concealer. I have mine in medium peach. I want to use this because I haven't used this in a long time. I really kind of forgot what I thought of it. But as you can see, for this being called medium peach, it's white. Like, their colors make no sense to me. So I'm going to take a, a bit of the ColourPop Pretty Fresh in medium, 85N. Because we got to do something about this color. As much as I would love for this e.l.f. to stand out on its own, my eyes are going to look ridiculous. I actually really should repurchase that concealer in a more reasonable color. But I'm so scared because I bought medium peach and it's like white. <laughs> me buying a medium shade for myself is really pushing it to begin with. See? And I really hate the bright under eye look. I hate it, I hate it. And in some cases, if you use a concealer that's too light, it actually kind of does the opposite, it emphasizes the blue underneath your eyes. But I'm gonna take one for the team in this video because I would like to know how I feel about this concealer. Just to kind of make it a little bit more natural looking, if you had the brightness to the center of the face, it'll all make more sense. It kind of blends in and doesn't look quite as ridiculous, even though it is ridiculous. I'm not really loving how my under eyes look. It's fine, but a bit dry. And then for powder to set today, I picked out the Milk Makeup Blur and Set Translucent Powder. I haven't used this powder in a while. I used to use it all the time. I think it's a decent powder. I don't think it's a groundbreaking, amazing powder, but it's just like one of those powders that you know are always going to work. And literally all it does is set your makeup. I mean, that's what you want 
want from a powder. It doesn't add anything great to your face, but it also isn't like bad. So I'm just putting that right on the center parts of my faces. I'm not a huge powder person because I already think bronzer, blush, and highlight powder my face enough. So I just get in the center of the face where the color products don't really set it. Let me not have my lips look crazy. I'm just gonna take a little bit of this Dior Glow Oil to set on my lips. Kind of moisturize my lips while we're getting ready. Okay, so let's move on to eyeshadow. And we're messing around with the Tom Ford, excuse my language, but I gotta call it what it is. This is the Badass Palette. Looks like this. So we're really gonna get a smoky eye. And like I said, I'm working on that Tom Ford rankings video, but I take it very seriously. So I like to make sure I kind of retry the shadows and rank them along the way so that I can get as accurate as I can. So it's been a slow process because I've just been retrying every single one. And I don't even wear makeup that much, so it's taking years, it feels like. So this is a good way to get another one out of the way. Tom Ford has the best smoky options. So I'm gonna start off with this shade right here and we're gonna start that all out here. So this aubergine kind of shade who's super gray. I don't know if I like that. There's hardly any of that cranberry plum that you see. I'm sure if you pack it on the lid using your finger, sure. This is my first time using this palette. So bought it and never used it because it's so dark. Never use colors this dark, but I love the Tom Ford smoky eye palettes. I feel like he does the best job with them, but I also never wear smoky eyes. Oh my gosh, this palette is dark. We're gonna take just a touch of the black. These have sparkles in it, but normally you don't really notice them. This isn't like a super pigmented black, which is fine because I'm not really looking for that. But if you are, there are other blacks from Tom Ford that I do notice are more pigmented, but that's fine because blacks scare me. I'm just gonna blend that out here. So I placed the color. I'm gonna take the first blending brush that I use so we don't get too crazy black in that area. Cause I'm scared. I'm trying to make this as wearable as possible because I'm trying to leave my house after this. I don't think that's gonna happen, especially cause I also chose crazy lashes. So I just made a lot of bad decisions when choosing today. I don't know that I really like this palette so far. We're gonna take this and I'm gonna put that just on the outer half of my eyelid. Ooh, that's pretty. Really pretty smoky gray. Got a lot of glitter on here. Getting some fallout as well. Try and work this into the look. I don't know, I'm not really feeling this palette. And I don't know if it's because of the quality, but I'm not really feeling the quality either. This should be the saving grace. That didn't show up. That's not, that's not working, what the heck? These feel different than his normal quality. This one is like not as slick. It almost is like tacky feeling. Needs to be used with a finger. Pretty color though. Kind of is looking patchy too. I don't know, I'm so confused. Am I not using this right? Or am I being too gentle with this palette? Like am I trying too hard to make it wearable? Is that why I'm not liking it? Like when I'm wearing this palette, do I need to go all out to really understand it and make it work. Can't believe I've had this palette for so long and never used it and it's bad. I need to try and salvage this, but I don't know that I can. I'm gonna take this shade right here and run this along my lower lash line, see how that is in a more packed on scenario. It's just so gray looking, it's weird. Hold on, I need, my eyes are getting watery. I need to put some eye drops in. Every time I film at night after I had a full day of work, my eyes are really red just from being tired. Don't be alarmed by this. <laughs> I'm getting this fallout that's driving me nuts right here. So at the end of it all, I do feel like I salvaged a look out of it that I'm not unhappy with, but this was my first time using this palette and I've had it for a while. I just had never had a chance to dip into it because these colors are super dark and intimidating and I don't like this quad. I'm so surprised because I love so many of his quads, but this feels like a really different formula. I don't like how gray this color pulled. The black was okay. This shade is okay. I just got a lot of fallout. This one I felt like blended patchy. This one had so much fallout. And this, I was excited. I thought it was his regular shimmer wet dry formula. It's weird and tacky feeling and it doesn't apply with a brush. You need to use a finger. And it took a lot of work to work it into my eyelid. I didn't watch any reviews on this quad were other people experiencing the same thing I'm really disappointed by this moving forward though I'm gonna quickly do some liner and mascara just because 
I'm just going to use generic products that I always use and then we'll play with some eyelashes and then we'll get to everything else. So with liner and mascara on, I definitely am liking the look a lot more. We're going to go a little bit wild with my lash choice and I'm going to use these lashes from D-Star Lashes. These are the style Jacqueline. These are new. I feel like the point of Shop Your Stash is not to use new items, but they were sitting in my makeup collection and I haven't tried them yet and I want to. So am I missing the whole point? Don't get mad at me. I got these from the Paige Corin and D Star collab. She like picked her three favorite lashes, and this is in that kit. I love Paige, by the way. Ooh, these look like they're actually gonna be super pretty. I was a little bit worried because I got these small little eyes, and the lashes in here look like they're not for people with small little eyes, but ooh, but that's really pretty. You see how small my eyelashes are? <laughs> Just so you can see, I like these lashes way more than I thought I would. They're a bit long for me. I have little eyes that can't really handle super big falsies, and they're a bit too long and straight. I like them when they're shorter, thicker, and like more curled. Those are the type of lashes I prefer. But these are still super pretty though. They look really long and wispy. I like these too because the bands are actually quite thin. I feel like for a lot of lashes like this in other brands, the bands would be thick and hard to use, but no, not bad. On to the face. I decided to pull out just a whole palette to keep things simple and I chose the Charlotte Tilbury Glowgasm Face Palette. I love this palette. I haven't used it in a while because I've just been using a whole bunch of other stuff, but Let's go back to an oldie but goodie. I think the bronzer was never too crazy about in this palette. It's just kind of not really too visible, <laughs> to be quite honest. It takes a little bit of digging to get some color on your face, but I, I mean, the job gets done, as you can see. Finally, we're getting some shading in my face. And this is the Refer number 22 brush, by the way, like the best bronzer brush ever. I just remembered, I don't really like this blush as a blush, like a blush chopper, yes, but it's too shimmery. It doesn't deposit as much color on the cheek. It deposits more shimmer than blush, but it's still fine. We got something from that, but still, I should have put like a base color down first, but it is still really pretty. If you don't like a blush color though, but you like the sheen, you actually might really like this, but I forgot about that. And then highlighter, we're gonna use this baby. This is why I love this palette. I love this highlighter. It is so pretty. I'm using a blinged brush F17 to apply. I know I always forget, like I'll apply with a brush and never mention it and then I'll only mention like two brushes in the video because I always forget. And you guys are always like, what brush are you using? And by the time it's up, I don't even really remember. <laughs> okay, and then I do need to add a little bit of that in my inner corner because I feel like my eyes are looking a bit dull and gray and dark. I'm gonna set my face. I didn't pick a setter. <laughs> Have I ever used this before? No. Mm, what's an oldie but goodie? I need something for some moisture. Let's use this baby. You can focus. Okay, just don't, that's fine. So I pulled out the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Ultra Fine Mist. I'm looking for something to add moisture to my face because my under is looking a little bit dry. Haven't used this in forever. I love the way it smells. Okay, so I don't know about the lip color that I chose. Put out the MAC Sussexy. Actually, no, I don't know. It might be a little bit warm. Oh, just kidding, that's not even warm. I should have lined my lips too. Oh. That's actually a decent color. Hold on. Let's pick out a lip liner. Just need something. I just want something dark. So we'll use this. I love this lip liner. So I chose my Isum Nude Lip Pencil. We're gonna take the dark brown. It looks scary now, but it blends, I promise. So we're gonna blend it with a brush. This is the Blinged Brushes E16. I just use it to apply my inner corner highlighter, but it honestly is a better lip brush. That lip liner warmed it up more than I would like. Ooh, mm. now that that's on, I really like that. So I'm gonna take my hair down and zhuzh myself up and we'll be back. All right, so here is the final look from shopping my stash of makeup that I already have. Overall, we got this really pretty cool tone kind of smoky eye that's still quite subtle. I actually really like it. I was a little bit worried there for a second, but now with everything all together, it's really nice. Just kind of taking a step back and looking at everything. I like the foundation. I don't love it. It does look a little bit foundation-y. It doesn't have a blurring or smoothing effect. 
effect that a lot of other foundations that I have achieve, but it still is nice. It's a nice glowy foundation, not the best. I would say kind of middle of the road as far as foundations go. The concealer I find to be a bit drying under the eyes. It's not my favorite, but I don't want to judge it too much because it's not my color. So maybe one day I will buy the right color and like it. We'll see. <laughs> um, I of course love the cheek palette. The eyeshadow palette, I'm very disappointed by. I love Tom Ford quads. I have so many of them, but this one like really let me down and I'm sad, but you saw it here first on camera. I just was not a huge fan of it, but the look did eventually come out really pretty, but it just was not what I was hoping for. I like the lashes more than I thought I would, but it's not going to be like an everyday lash for me. Lips are pretty. Yeah. Okay. Overall, really happy with the look and how this turned out. It was fun to kind of dig into my collection and pull out some products that I haven't used for a while or have been wanting to use. Let me know if you liked this Shop My Stash video. If you have any ideas for fun themes for my Shop My Stash videos, definitely put them down below. And yeah, if you aren't subscribed to my channel, I hope you take the time to do so. I love digging into my collection and talking about all of my other loved products. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys. Thanks for watching.